guys, it's Vanilla Vapes. Got another video for you here. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let everybody know so I can get some fan base going. I want to share a lot of information with people here. Get, uh, get you guys all familiarized with vaping. Give some information out. I do a lot of testing and uh, different devices and tanks and everything. Um, got the Segelli 150 here. And I got the, uh, the Gimlet Clouds from Smoke. It's the uh, running the point two build in here today. Uh, my juice I'm rocking is called uh, Rockin' Energy, and it is from VapeWild.com, and it's a it's actually a 65 uh, 35 mix. So it's not the heaviest VG. Um, so it is not going to be the biggest for clouds, but it still has pretty good production on it here. I'm going to go over a little bit of information with you guys. Um, real quick review, I'm not going to do an unboxing video because I've already had it out and everything, but um, when I get some other products in, I'll do those uh, reviews for you as well, but I want to give this one a, a bit, I've been vaping on it a week now, and I've gotten my thoughts on it and, and everything for you. So flavor, really, really good. Um, the only thing I have for you with the flavor is it's not a, it's not a dripper. But it, it's pretty spot on. It's pretty close. It's really close to, uh, you know, a dripper there and what you can do with those. Um, it does have four big old, uh, you know, it's really hard to, to get that in there for you. But it's got, in there, it's got four juice wells um, for you in the cotton. And this is the coils that come with it. The, the point two uh, nine two hundreds. So they're the nickel plate. Uh, so they are for the heat. Uh, regulate devices however I am running on the Segelli only complaint I have which isn't really a complaint it's just an issue with it is uh, it, it runs it I don't know if you see that there uh, it turned off on me but it, it, it reads point two uh, every once in a while it jumps up to a point three ohm although it is a point two but it doesn't impact anything at all that I've noticed it uh, doesn't have any problems with the device it's just because it fluctuates because of the heat that's a normal thing I was told about that when I got it uh, it seems to be a pretty standard thing with everybody that they're seeing so it it's, it's normal it's not don't freak out if you have this device or a device that you know auto auto corrects whatever it just changes the wattage a little bit but it goes right back down when I hit it um, usually so it's just here and there with it um, I'm running it at 70 watts right now that's just what I like a lot of people find it 60 60 to 80 even though this thing is uh, can ramp up to 100. I tried it at 100 and it tasted burnt. It just, I don't know if it was the wicking of the juice, but I don't recommend 100. If you want to try it, that's all you. Uh, it is very, very dry hit for me. <clears throat> uh, change in flavors in this tank is awesome. It's The coils are just set up like the Aspire, if you're familiar with the Aspire. It does have the mesh and it has like the, uh, the coils that go upward. It's got one coil in there, I believe. I haven't really messed around taking them apart or anything like that. But it does have a coil in there like the Aspire does. It does use organic cotton. It holds um, 3.8 or 4 mils of juice. I did take the drip tip off. I used my own. I have a carbon fiber one in there. Uh, big bore. Doesn't doesn't match, but I don't care. Um, really easy to fill up. Big airflow hole. Um, I have it wide open right now. Doesn't leak. I love that about it. I've had the Kanger uh, sub tank. Great tank as well. I don't have it anymore, so I won't be reviewing it. Uh, it was leaking and causing me problems, so I got rid of it. It's a great tank, though. Um, but this tank right here, uh, got it over at Jade Vapor here where I live. Uh, local shop, great guys there. Shout out to them. They're always hooking me up. They got all the, the goodies, you know. Got to gotta sh show them some love. But they're, they're awesome tanks. This thing right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit it real fast for you. good cloud uh, really good flavor it's it's pretty impeccable um, I honestly say it's probably one of the best tanks I've had for the flavor it just gives it you know it, it's almost spot-on with the dripper it tastes really good um, no not a large throat hit with me I'm running three mil though um, in there I mean it is a heavier PG so it does have a little bit of a throat hit to it but it's not bad and uh, 
know, it keeps up with everything I've ever thrown at it. You can chain vape on it, you can small hit it. Um, it, it, it takes everything I've thrown at it so far. The coils have lasted quite a bit of time. I mean, I've vaped on it pretty regularly. I probably went through 30 to 60 mils of juice on, on the single coil here. Um, I know a lot of people are big into the coils and the life of the coils, um, everything like that. So that's a huge plus so far for me. Um, you can get coils anywhere from three to five bucks, whatever. Uh, you can run the, the VCT, the vapor chasing tank, uh, coils on this so if you don't have a, a box mod that runs the the high watts like that don't worry about it uh, get yourself one of the you know the x1s or the x2s or maybe the a1 or you can rebuild your own um, but if you don't have a box that's handling a 0.2 build you can still get this tank you don't have to be discouraged or or say you know i'm not gonna be able to buy that tank if you want it I uh, just changed the coils out. Um, it's really nice. Uh, in, in the box though, it did come with um, an extra coil and it also come with a extra tank, uh, the glass tank, just in case you drop it and break it. I do love the fact that these companies are including those, uh, especially when back when first started, you know, tanks didn't come with that stuff and you break, you pretty much had to buy a new tank, um, especially since they're more expensive. You can find the glass online too if you break two of them, if you're clumsy, whatever. Um, but this thing, it doesn't have a problem heating up. I haven't had any problems with it heating up. Uh, the tank gets hot a little bit at the bottom, which is normal because you're you're creating that, that you know, you're running .2, I'm running this, this thing high up. I mean, it gets a little warm, but it's not something seriously hot. Not like a mech mod. I mean, I've had mech mods that get hot, no big deal. But I just want to kind of give you guys a, a whole airflow. I like it. It's not the greatest out there right now. I know the Arctic, which I have coming uh, video for you guys as well. It's got that big hole, but man, it's got some. It's got some good airflow. Um, really good airflow. I would say maybe a nine out of ten on that. The flavor is pretty good. I'm gonna say a ten out of ten on that for me, preference. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really keep and linger when you're changing flavors out. I haven't really dry burned it. I just stick a little bit. Of, I just clear the juice out, put a little juice in the coil, and and fill up the tank. It changes really fast. I do love that about this thing. It doesn't take a minute to change over for me. And I put coconut in here and a couple of strong flavors like orange and uh, some of those flavors that kind of linger usually. Not a, not a problem. So that's that's a really good advantage as well. I, I don't have tons of negatives to say about the tank um, at all. I mean, just the coil with the, the way they're making the, the temperature controls, but that's just a minor thing. It doesn't impact performance for me in the slightest. So I, I'm not, I mean, the design is really cool. It's gold and silver with my black box. It doesn't look terrible. Um, it's not too humongous. It, it's regular thread. It fits everything. Um, it's pretty sturdy it's heavy duty um, I would definitely check it out if you like blowing clouds and you like a tank um, it, it's just an overall I mean smokes in the game they're they're really in the game I mean it's it's one of those things where if you like to sub and you want a good tank for 40 bucks you want to try smoke if if you've not really had smoke or you want to try something new to throw into your collection whatever you know what have you I definitely recommend it very awesome tank i i give it a solid it's it's a nine out of ten for me um i mean it's a solid tank if it had a little bit more crisp flavor a little bit more vapor production than what i'm used to then i would be okay with that maybe open up a little bit more airflow just you know that would be what i would enhance but tanks come out all the time that's just tweaks for me i would definitely highly recommend this thing if you have a box that hits 100 watts by all means um, or if you're in getting into the game you want to be an early adapter and you want to get a temperature controlled device smoke has some there's some other companies out there that have them I would definitely say you know hey I, I would I would do some research on it before you jump into that because I don't really know too much about those I don't probably anticipate getting one right now I'm pretty happy with my setup that I have and uh, as far as batteries I have in here I have two Samsung 25Rs, 18650s, and it runs this thing perfectly. I'm, I'm killing my battery today at 84% all day, um, but that's running it at that 70 watts. Like I said, it's, it's running a 4.9 volts, and um, it, it keeps up. I can crank this thing up to a 90, 95, uh, no problems whatsoever, but that 100 mark was just too much for me. 
uh, on this one anyway. Maybe it could be the juicer. I didn't break in the coils. Coils break in pretty quick as well, which was a huge perk for me. Um, overall, I definitely would say this tank is, is solid. I would I would recommend it to the people. So if you if you like it, definitely uh, comment. Ask me any questions you got about it. Let me know, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you. Till then, uh, vape on, guys, and uh, it's. I'll have some other videos up for you guys and enjoy. Babe on.